This is our 50th year farming. My dad moved down here from Virginia in 1963. A lot of farmers across the country for the last 10 years have been looking way for ways to bring people out to the farm. He decided to do something different. So about, well, it's gonna be almost 11 years ago, we tried our first corn maze. It's about seven acres. Cutting the maze out itself has gotten way easier over, over time. First time I ever went to cut one out, it took me two days. Now I could be done this one probably in three hours. I'm basically actually what I hold in my hand is, is the size of a small tablet that uh, talks to a GPS antenna, accurate antenna, and then uh, I see the map on the screen. The machine does not drive itself. I have to follow, follow the lines extremely accurately, otherwise it'll, it'll mess everything up. We're open about two and a half months every fall with a different maze, different theme. And we've had us, uh, over 30,000 people in one fall. Our designer has been an artist and maze designer for many, many years. So he really likes to do some fancy artwork in them at, at times. We're working with them, uh, Maze Quest. We're kind of like a, a franchise of them. And they have helped us along the way. They still are helping us. Certain designs are more complicated. Whenever there's a short turn, uh, anything that's less than 90 degrees, those, those types of things make it harder to cut out because the equipment is limited on how tight it can turn. You know, I've got to pay attention to all those details or it won't come through in the field. And every year we kind of add something different. We've made the market a little bigger. Um, we've added a cafe. Anything we can to get people out here. We not only want them to come out and buy our produce, but we also want them to be educated about farming so that farming is still around in 10 years. It's a fun day, it's family, and that's what we push, family, education, a good time.